What's up, crew? Subscribers, this is Joe King Johns, and before today, I'm teaching you how to set up the pistol class setup. Hopefully, you guys follow up because this goes only for those people who want to add a challenge to themselves, like just using the pistol throughout the whole match, or to those people who want to level up the pistols so they can, they can get them gold or diamond pistols. So, make sure you follow up. And before we get into more details, I'm excluding the executioner, so don't ask me about the executioner because I have no info about it. I think it would cost a different class than this one because I know the executioner is mostly like a shotgun, so I'll be making another class setup. Up for that one instead of if, with the other pistol so uh, so yeah I'm sorry for that and I'll let you know later on also uh, this class setup has helped me get more than 30 kills per game uh, and uh, also risen up my KD by 0.3 so make sure you follow up as much as possible uh, the weapon that we're gonna have it could be any pistol that you want and uh, you're gonna be adding the suppressor the reason we need a suppressor is to keep our you know stealthy ways on the map because you know it's gonna be a lot harder if we add no suppressor to the weapon and uh, we're gonna be more detectable along the way every time we kill somebody people are gonna be turning around and kill you with LMGs or assault rifles so we're gonna need to keep our, our stealthy ways throughout the whole map with a suppressor because we know the pistols cannot reach such a great weight range sometimes it does but you know it, it's gonna give you a lot more deaths than kills at times so make sure to add that suppressor now the weakest weapon with a suppressor is attack 40 it takes like around six bullets to kill an enemy and then it's the cap 40 it takes like around five the b34r it takes four even though it has like two uh, like a burst round going on there and then it's the 5.7 the 5.7 is the strongest one with a suppressor it takes like around three bullets to take on an enemy no matter how far they are you can take them out like from here uh, in the middle of this map that you see right here in the background to the uh, top of the, of, the, of the helicopter pad it's a pretty good range weapon so uh, it's good it keeps its damage and its range at the same time so I don't know what's going on with the suppressor and the 5.7 but it's pretty uh, good with a weapon I don't know why. So um, make sure you keep that in mind. The 5.7 is the strongest one with the suppressor. Then we're going to have the wall cards going on. It's going to be danger close. You're going to add two bouncing beddies. And uh, then you're going to have two shot, shot grenades in the tactical division. The reason we need this is to keep ourselves alerted throughout the whole match. This uh, bouncing beddies and shot grenades, you can just throw them whatever you want, whenever you want, at you know whatever place you want. And then... Um, by doing that, it's going to alert you because people are going to be running over them and they're going to be exploding. It's going to let you know they're over here. You know, people drop uh, to the floor over here because the bouncing beddy went up and then people drop down. It's going to alert you and it's, it's going to tell you, like, get the hell over here because people are coming through this way. So you're going to be getting free kills along, along the way too because there's some people out there who still run over bouncing beddies and get killed. So you're going to be having a lot of random kills at times you're gonna be detect you're gonna be alert at random times too and then plus adding scavenger adding scavenger will actually let you have almost like a minefield going on you're gonna be able to throw at least like around four bouncing bays per per game like per time that you have bouncing bays on the floor like uh you know you have uh you no know, you just threw two bouncing bays and you can you can actually throw another two they won't disappear i already tried that now i want to see what's the limit though I'll probably make a video about it later on. And the shot grenades, you know, you might want to throw them anywhere you want. Next to the doors, next to a, each, like, uh, each corner. I don't know. But this, uh, those are great alerting devices. So, uh, so yeah, make sure you have those things going on there. And the first perk you're going to have is lightweight. And uh, the third perk is going to be extreme conditioning. The reason we need this in order for us to keep our ass moving around the map. We're going to be the fastest guys out there. And, uh, you know, the guys with the longest sprint also. So, on. Um, so we're gonna be moving our ass fast around the map. It's just good, and also you can switch out perk three for dexterity if you want. If, you, if you're playing like one of those close ass maps, if you're playing in a small map, make sure to add dexterity. It's gonna help you a lot with a pistol because you're gonna be getting like around three bullet kills with a pistol. It's gonna be pretty amazing in small maps. The pistol is actually good in small maps too. So um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this class setup. You can make some arrangements so you can switch it up a little bit. But this is a class I use that I've been using for the past uh, for this whole month. I've been getting more than 30 kills per game, and uh, uh, trust me, I have. I have some games for you guys to see, and uh, you guys already saw like at least like four of them. So, um, so yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and I'll see you guys later. Enjoy your day.